So I just saw Clone Wars, Star Wars, and it was great. Um, Luke, I've been waiting for Lucas to do something like this. Really uh, went above and beyond my expectations. Let me tell you, nonstop action start to finish. The female girl in the movie was annoying, but not that annoying. Um, you know, it, actually I liked Anakin for the first time. You know, I, I don't really like Anakin, you know, he, but in this movie he's actually likable. You actually get to see um, Obi-Wan kick butt, which, you know, I think has been missing. I actually like the characters more in this movie than I did in all three of the new ones. So, uh, all around, definite positive. Definitely go see. I give you a three out of four lightsabers. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I think the key was the action. And uh, the animation definitely took animation to t new levels. And, um, you know, a little Pixar, a little Beowulf. It was uh, it was definitely it was great and you know I love to see the lightsaber scenes I love I want more Yoda there wasn't a lot of Yoda you see him he's right on the cover of what they said they were offering but we didn't get enough Yoda I don't think there could ever be enough Yoda anyway um, definitely a must see I don't know what he's gonna do next I heard Lucas is doing he's doing a live action already signed on for a hundred movies live action he's also doing an animated series. I think the animated series is going to star the female lead in this and also the female bad guy. There's a female bad guy in this. And, um, you know, I don't want to give anything away, but I just, uh, if anything, the story was a little too simple, but the action really carried it. You know, it was, it was started and finished before you knew it. And, um, you know, I just started to like the characters. I thought they, uh, they, there's a relationship that develops between Anakin and the chick. And I think they were real, trying to recapture that Han Solo, Princess Leia thing, and in in sort of in a way, you get what I'm saying. Um, although you know, like, and you know, the bad guys in it were bad guys. You know, Dooku was sinister. I mean, it was, it was good. It was good. It was an animated film. It reminded me a lot of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was done very well in this vein, and uh, the movement of the animation was incredible. So definitely Lucas takes uh, takes a really a great like strides in here. And um, let's see, what else do I wanna say about it? I do wanna say I like Princess Amidala more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she was great in it too. Um, but, uh, you know, I got to see this early screening and um, I think it's going to be, uh, I, I'm going to look at how I can see more of these and keep posting. So you guys should check me out, definitely. I see everything. Why me? Why listen to my opinion? I don't know, man. I'm just like you. I love movies, and I want to see them, and I want to know everything there is to know about all of them. I think one of my projects is going to be, I'm going to investigate the other critics and see who you guys are listening to, see what kind of background they have. See, see what they know, because I really don't think they know all that much. They, uh, you know, so you get directed to see these movies by these people for what? What gives them the right? You know what I mean? They, you know, most of them probably liter, you know, literature majors or uh, movie majors in college. But what do they really know about enjoying a movie? You know what I mean? I read this one article where they said that you know Cas Casablanca missed the point, it missed the mark, and uh, Brando's makeup was horrible in Godfather. Anyway, so why listen to me? Because I'm for the people, I'm by the people, and uh, I'm going to give it to you authentic and real. Whatever I feel, I'm going to tell you. Um, so I am a little biased towards Star Wars because, of course, I love the entire series. I actually think this is an improvement on all the, the trilogies. They would have made this movie live action would have been a hit. There's tons of people dying. I mean, it's it's what it is. I mean, it's what it should have been. So, uh, look forward to seeing the upcoming projects here. This weekend, we're going to look at uh, Tropic Thunder. Ben Stiller movie. I heard it's great. It's all, the trailers look funny. And I'm also going to... Uh, I'm going to look and see... Uh, I just saw uh, Pineapple Express. Hysterical. 
stoner movie, but very much in the Cheech and Chong vein and very much a success. I think it may want to touch too long, and I know that's like saying something horrible, but that's like the biggest criticism on it for me. Also, there's one criticism about this Clone Wars thing that I've neglected to mention, and uh, they do this thing where they don't explain reality, like stuff just happens, and I know it's science fiction, and I know it's fantasy, but you gotta like lead me somewhere, you know what I mean? Like, I think Batman and the Dark Knight work very well because of the reality inside of the unreality. And uh, I think, you know, even the biggest problem I had was Christian Bale's voice, like everyone else had, but also the con the, the, the costume. Like, who's really going to run around in a bat suit but a crazy person? You dig? Anyway, well, so, you know, I'll give this one. Three lightsabers out of four. Definitely go check it out. Definitely keep Lucas in business. I mean, I mean he has billions, but keep him, keep him coming. I want to see more of these pictures, and uh, y'all are here for me soon. They'll be out.